Today's video is about uh, XDC uh, Synchron Network, uh, XDC Coin, or uh, XDC uh, Cryptocurrency. And remember guys, uh, our XDC uh, Synchron Network Coin is part of the ISO uh, 222 compliant cryptocurrencies. Uh, we will also see screenshots from my own uh, XDC holdings on the Gate.io cryptocurrency exchange and uh, all the screenshots that you will see. It, this is also my own uh, MetaMask wallet. Now, I'm publishing this video using the English language so that it can be uh, understood by both our Filipino audience and our uh, viewers and subscribers who speaks the English language. In this video, we will uncover whether it's really possible for us to uh, transfer our XDC holdings from a cryptocurrency exchange, in particular, Gate.io. This is where I uh, bought all my XDC holdings to our MetaMask uh, decentralized wallet. Now, the main reason why I came up with this idea is to uh, have that uh, flexibility on where I'm holding my XDC uh, coins. So if you're uh, someone like me who doesn't have a ledger or a hardware wallet where they can store their cryptocurrency holdings, uh, I, alternatively, this can be uh, considered as another option where you can hold your uh, cryptocurrency holdings. Now, I would like to reiterate that all the information I'll show you in this video are not financial advice. Uh, everything is published in good faith and for educational purpose only. And any action that you take upon the information you find on this website, Involve Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel, is strictly at your own risk. Okay. So the, here's the Gate.io account. And uh, what you can see here is the withdraw uh, page on the Gate.io uh, exchange. Okay. Now, we also have here on the top right the R. Uh, XDC Syncfin uh, Network Mainnet Chain, okay? What you can establish here on this screenshot is that I have already uh, configured my MetaMask with the correct settings on how I can transfer my XDC holdings from Gate.io to MetaMask, okay? And uh, we can see here that we have uh, a sample amount of uh, 30 XDC to prove that our transfer from the Gate.io cryptocurrency exchange to our MetaMask decentralized wallet was successful. Okay, now according to this screenshot, uh, the date and time of this uh, screenshot is taken uh, earlier, uh, 1.31 a.m. Uh, July 31, 2022. This is Philippine time or Manila time, okay? The, the most important proof that I can show you based on this screenshot that we have we have here the XDC recent withdrawal. Uh, we have the order ID, the address or transaction ID, the XDC amount, and we have here a fee of 70 XDC, okay? And then uh, the time and status of the transaction, which is successful according to the action. Uh, it's a done and blockchain confirmed. So 100% we can guarantee just by merely looking at the details on this screenshot that everything was uh, processed accordingly. And I have the applicable amount of XDC transferred to my MetaMask from the Gate.io cryptocurrency exchange. Okay, now, uh, one important detail I will share with you is the fee when we transfer from Gate.io to MetaMask, okay? So in our example, this means that you also need to consider the transaction fee involved if you're going to decide transferring your XDC from Gate.io to uh, your MetaMask wallet, okay? Now, this is my first attempt to transfer an amount of XDC from Gate.io to MetaMask and uh, the amount that we have here, I'll mention. Uh, it's hidden here, but I only transferred 100 XDC. And there's a, a 70 XDC fee. And we have 30 XDC on my MetaMask now. Now, if you're going to uh, go back to the screenshot here, earlier when I was doing the transaction, it's a 70 XDC. So meaning, if you're going to repeat the process of transferring XDC to your MetaMask, Depending on the time you're going to do the transfer and considering the volatility of the cryptocurrency market, uh, this means that the fee on transferring your XDC 
to your MetaMask uh, always varies. Okay? So, we will need to always consider that. Now, I'll also do another follow-up video on this one because I would also like to prove whether regardless of the amount of XDC that we will transfer, uh, what I mean is that uh, in this example, I only transferred 100 XDC. So say, for example, I have a uh, 1,000 and more XDC coin and I would like to transfer that to my MetaMask. Will it still be within the range of uh, 66 up to 70 XDC or it will be uh, higher depending on the amount of the XDC that I will transfer? So the ideal scenario would be regardless of how low or how high the XDC amount we will transfer from Gate.io to XDC uh, MetaMask, uh, it should always be within this range of 66 up to 70 XDC only so that it's going to be beneficial for us when doing the transfer because that means that regardless of how much XDC we will transfer, we are only required to be charged of a low fee of 70 XDC only. On our second screenshot, I'm going to show you the correct settings for setting up your XDC or Syncfin network mainnet. Okay, As you can see here, we have the MetaMask settings. So all you need to do is to go to the top of your MetaMask where you have the add network settings. So we'll just need to click on the top option here and then click on add network. When we click on add network, uh, we will be prompted to enter the network name, a new RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and the block explorer URL. Okay, so in our example, since I have already set up my uh, Singfin network mainnet uh, chain on my MetaMask, I already have this view. And we have the tick on the Singfin network mainnet. Okay, so all you need to do is to follow these settings in case you're decided to uh, also transfer a portion of your XDC to your MetaMask. Okay, so I'll also be posting the information or the website where I found the information of these correct settings on setting up the uh, Singfin network mainnet chain on our MetaMask decentralized wallet. Okay, how to withdraw? Okay, so this is one of the most important thing to always consider and remember. Okay, so when transferring to a cryptocurrency exchange on our example gate.io, we have the withdraw uh, option here. I'll maximize this one so we can see it better. Uh, of course, we're going to select the coin code as XDC under the XDC chain. Okay, and it will automatically display the available XDC that we have on our uh, gate.io fund wallet okay and we have here the day withdrawal limit uh, we have to populate and input our xdc address okay now we can simply find that on the uh, address that will uh, generate once we set up our syncfin network mainnet on our metamask so we just need to copy our uh, syncfin network mainnet uh, address from our MetaMask and then paste it right here. Okay, and then it will automatically populate how much uh, fee uh, we will be charged for our uh, transfer between uh, uh, Gate.io and MetaMask. So for example, I'm about to uh, do another transfer of 100 XDC and there's a fee of 66 XDC. We compute the difference and uh, whatever difference we will get, that's the only amount that we will uh, see on our XDC wallet after the transfer is completed. So always uh, make sure to enter your fund password, your email code, and uh, the Google Authenticator code when you withdraw your funds from Gate.io to MetaMask and then submit the request. It only uh, takes uh, a few minutes before the... Uh, transfer is complete based on my experience and after that I automatically received the expected amount of XDC on my MetaMask uh, decentralized wallet. Okay.